<sighs> well, let's see. I have the best job I've ever had in my life now. Not that 15 wasn't fantastic, but I'm a mom. And to date, that is the best thing ever. My daughter is 10, and her name is Sienna. And uh, the joy of my life. In all this time, I have lived in many cities. I lived in New York, Los Angeles. I was still doing the acting thing. I lived in Italy, worked in the clothing fashion industry there. Kind of just wanted to see what I could do in, in all these years, just as, as much as I could do, and uh, just put my fingers in every different kind of industry that I could possibly do. And then I came to Vancouver, actually, after 9-11. That was a tough time. I had just had my daughter. And uh, my view out of my apartment building at that time was the, the, tr the World Trade Towers. And so to have that view for years and all of a sudden look out and them not be there, it was just too hard to just every day be reminded. And um, the air was black and I just thought this is no place for a little girl. So I took her, her and her dad, we moved back to Vancouver because I'm originally from here. And my parents live here, so we came here. And I had no intention to stay this long, but I did. And uh, during that time, I still did acting now and then. And at some point, it was our makeup artist, Monica Hubert, who's become a huge makeup artist now. She uh, is the personal makeup artist to uh, Patricia Clarkson. She inspired me to always, whenever we were on hiatus, I took makeup classes, and I loved it. So I kind of thought, what can I do besides acting? Because I was late to pick up my daughter a lot, and she was crying, and I was always on bated breath for roles, and I went, oh, maybe it's time to take a break for a while. So I, I decided to get into makeup artistry, and having had my fashion experience in, in Milan and in Florence and Siena, and that's hence the name, she's named Siena, uh, I did some makeup in New York in fashion. I do it here. I do album covers. I do fashion runway, I do some TV film, but uh, so it's fun. So I kind of go back and forth between the two, and it's the best of both worlds. Wonderful. Yeah. That's a great, great catch-up. Yeah. Uh, a 20, 20 year, years. Yeah, you can we, do a lot in 20 years. <laughs> just, hence hence the youthful look. There you it's go. Uh, not knife. It's called <laughs> makeup brushes. Mag they're, they're like magic wands to me, so there well, you go. Well, you look great, and it's great to hear that. I think I love that. Um, I just like... Anything that comes out of your, uh, your your recollection of the show, best moments, they could be worst moments, uh, funny moments, just anything that might you might recall in any uh, that has anything to do with fifteen and the oh the yeah. Moment. Well, I guess starting with the audition process, it was so much fun. I mean, as we were we as everybody, you guys were weeding through all the thousands of people that had showed up. Um, people that got grouped in groups just became like the best of friends. And the funny thing is, is that most of the people that ended up being cast were the ones that were hanging out. You must have seen some kind of chemistry because I just adored everybody on the show. I mean, usually in casts you have people that have their little things and they don't get along, but we were, it was like summer camp every time we filmed. So, I mean, those memories are grand. The people were fantastic. Um, I have to say... <laughs> It was so much fun playing the bitch. Can I say that? Can of I say you bitch? Can say okay. You want. <laughs> say it again. Um, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I can say it now because it's not Nickelodeon. That's right. Um, but uh, I got so many nice roles, victim roles, that my years on the show being like the meanest girl in town was so much fun. The hard part was explaining it to my daughter because she actually hates my character when she watches the show. She's like, you're so mean. Why couldn't you be in the nice one? But I explained to her that it's more fun to play the mean one. Acting it is. Mm -hmm. Most actors think that's the favorite role. Oh, yeah. Because you get to be all angry and mean, and then you go home and you're like, oh, I got it all out. Right, then you get to be yeah. the nice guy. Yeah. So much fun. And it was almost like Ian would just take the script further and further. And it's just like every season, I'm like, wow, just when you think Brooke couldn't get any worse. There she goes. Surprise. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want to share about the just the production or the summer camp, as you called it, or any of the things? That well, it was to... great to go from city to city. We filmed in Vancouver, and we filmed in Ottawa. We filmed in Universal Studios in Florida. So it was just great to see all these different places as we went. 
Um, I was the oldest cast member by, I think, a few years. A couple of years, yeah. Yeah, a couple of, yeah. And um, it was just really great watching everyone kind of grow up and uh, see where they've gone with their lives. Just, I, you know, a lot of them I know where they're at and we'll, like, chat now and then when we bump into each other or give us each other, a, you know, a little email or whatever. But I just found Arsman. Oh. She owns, a, like, a vegan cafe in Brooklyn. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh, so I that was great. So her and I and are now like in contact again, and we're going back to New York this summer. I was just in Brooklyn for a month. Plus my, my daughter's still there. In oh. East Village, West Village, and I was in Brooklyn, but now I know. Yeah, Arsene, well, I can send you the uh, address of the cafe. It has great write ups. It's all name? like Ethiopian cooking uh-huh. and whatever. I don't remember so the name Arsene's of it. So Arsman's in Brooklyn. Arsman's in Brooklyn. That's a. That's a. That's a. She's uh, left Texas. A piece of news. That's yeah. Breaking news. Yes. <laughs> for our, our and uh, Janine Cox, who played in the first season, and my little, little sister, sister Teresa. Teresa. Exactly. She is uh, way, 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 way up north in Alberta, in uh, Fort McMurray. Wow. She's re- doing real estate. Really. Incredible. You, what you do is you pay your dues up there. You go for five years because it's the coldest place on the face of the earth. The real estate is 10 times New New York because it's all oil up there, as you know from Texas. And so everything's very expensive. But she's going and doing real estate for five years, retiring and moving to Mexico. That is her plan. That's her. Any other cast members that we might not know uh, since you have seemed to be in touch with? Sarah Douglas, who played Courtney. Right. She's living around Vancouver still. Right. No, I I know she she's married. Family. She she's a mom. She's married and a mom. But I'm not. She she does stuff to do with um, not environmental, but she's an activist uh-huh. as such. Which was her yeah. as her character. Yeah, right now, so that was great. And um, what about oh Anuka, okay. who played Vanessa, my best friend. Kelly. Yeah, yeah but she was Vanessa Anuka. back then. Yes. But her name is really she went back to her birth name, which is yes. Anuka. She is doing so well as an actress. She was on 24. She okay. had, yeah, a good guest star on that. And she lives in L.A. Okay. She's doing lots of great 